Uh, this is the Bear from Android TV Boxes, and I just want to talk to you about the really quick, uh, a new feature that's just come up inside the iStream component from Zunity Talk. Um, you'll notice today that if you start uh, the iStream component, you'll be met with an end user license agreement or a EULA. Um, you have nothing to worry about inside that document that basically confirms that the Zunity team own their code. They are protecting their code from third parties attempting to rip them off. Um, and what they're also doing is backing up the fact that they don't actually uh, host the content that you're watching. Uh, in the UK and certainly other European countries and also from America, um, the point of hosting um, content um, that people can watch illegally, which what you're doing using those components is actually illegal, um, if you host that content, you, you basically get screwed big time in a really big way so um, yeah you can ignore the EULA agreement there's nothing to worry about there is a, a business name mentioned um, but if you look into the company that actually produces the Zunity uh, Eclipse device you'll notice it's the same business so um, <clears throat> one of the really important changes to the iStream component um, for us has certainly been around playlists so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this change now you can see that this is a stock screen, uh, skin, not stream. Um, I'm using uh, version 13.1 of Gotham, um, and on here all I've got installed um, is iStream Mashup, because I've been doing some other videos that people have been watching. If you haven't got iStream installed, then please refer to one of my earlier videos. You'll see how to set it up and install it. What you'll also see is how to add Kizzer's playlist. This is one of the things I want to show you right now. If we open up iStream <clears throat> and go to iWatch and then go to Playlists, you'll see that we've got Kizzer's Playlist added. Now, um, before, on the earlier version, you could not add this to a local favourite. You had to keep it as a favourite inside iStream. Now, if you right-click or bring up the context menu, which is C on your keyboard, or the blue Android uh, the blue menu button on the MX devices. For other devices, I'm afraid you're going to have to look into what your context menu is. Um, but you can now add to favorites. Once you've added it to a favorite, um, what will happen is in here in the bottom left hand corner on the Confluence theme, um, you click on the star, you'll see it appearing on the right hand side, and you can open it up and it will literally just start uh, showing you the content that's available. Now, <coughs> One of the good things about being able to do that is obviously you still can go and see it as a favourite, but you can now extend out. Now if you have um, Confluence Customised Module or CCM, um, you can add that obviously uh, as a local um, shortcut to your actual XBMC screen. So I'm going to show you that. Um, now I've already installed uh, Confluence Customizable Mod um, or CCM um, and I use the, the hybrid um, development the uh, repo to get that on uh, Gotham because it's actually a broken theme unless you use this uh, this repo <coughs> so let it sort it out so as you can see this is pretty stock the only thing I've changed is obviously the background I've got to have my logo on there I've got to show people who we are um, you'll see that if I click on uh, favorites it appears what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add it as uh, either a menu and I'm going to add it as an icon so in order to do that, we need to make some changes. Um, the settings area has, appear, has changed from underneath uh, settings and has now become programs on this skin. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to go to skin settings. And what we're then going to do is we're going to go to home menu. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for an empty one. So menu item three is empty. And what I can do is I can just go use your favorites. And I'll select kizzers. Now I can click done. That should then theoretically add that as a menu icon. Now the first thing that I notice is I know it's going to go wrong is it's too long. So if we go back to the home screen, scroll across, it's there. But naturally it's it's not able to show everything in the one area, it scrolls across. Now interestingly enough it has taken the colours and I didn't think it was going to do that. But you can add it as a menu system and you can just click on kisses and there it is. Uh, the other options that you've got is you can add it as a, as a favorite shortcut here as it's had done already. Um, again, you can just click on it and it opens. So <clears throat> in, in terms of how important that is um, for the growing population 
of um, people that are now looking at iStream and especially Kizz's playlist and the other playlists that are out there I say Kizz's is, is our favourite because that's what we like using um, and plus Kizza, the guy behind this, um, is in our groups on Facebook, um, XBMC users. Um, I'm also a member of his uh, group on Facebook as well, um, which is the XBMC Kizza 312 playlist. Um, he puts a lot of time into making his playlist work really well. He's got a lot of uh, good content on there. He gets rid of dead links really quickly. And he's obviously got the live streaming channels like BBC, ITV, uh, Sky Sports, etc. Um, there are other stream providers out there. We prefer Kizzers, and for us, this change has basically allowed us to now ensure that instantly we can get access to the latest content using the playlists. Um, for people that haven't been introduced to Kizzers' playlist yet, where are you guys hiding? Seriously, come and say hello to us over at XBMC Users. Get involved in the conversations. Um, find out about Kizzers' playlist. Watch my earlier videos. Add it to your system. You really need this. There's so much good stuff in there. Um, historically, people have been using things like Hacker Mill Stash or Mashup. Hacker Mills has got good content. I won't take that away from him. I, I think he's got some really good content. There's certainly a lot of arguments going on between the Zunity camp and also the Mashup camp with Hacker Mills being involved. I try and avoid all that politics stuff. I just want decent content. Both are on par with each other. But I've got a favourite Kizzer because he's a UK guy. He's He's a good lad. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Very quick, very short, to the point. Let us know if you have any problems using the comments below. Come and find us on Facebook at slash Android TV Boxes. That's B-O-X-E-S. Say hi to us on XBMC Users. And as always, take it easy.